rapid tape is stopping access to a treatment that could be life-changing for children with a disability. Vicky Jardim says 40,000 donated umbilical cords are currently in storage, but laws prevent their use. Rich in powerful stem cells, cord blood and tissue samples are being donated by new parents and saved in the tens of thousands. For Claire Sayers and her family, it could hold the key to improving Emily's standard of living. She fights every day and she puts up a damn good fight, but it'd be nice for her just to enjoy the day. Three clinical trials in the world have shown promising results. At times, increasing movement skills in children beyond what is possible in rehabilitation. In Australia, umbilical cord samples cannot be legally used for therapy and research, but new parents around Australia continue to donate after giving birth. What we see in these trials is that their movement skills are improved. So if they can already walk, their walking quality is better. And for children with severe cerebral palsy, they're able to do more things. Many parents tell us their child is more alert, for example. Only 12 families have been able to access Australia's first clinical trial for children with cerebral palsy. All participants use sibling cords that were privately banked. Emily was injected with her brother Oliver's cord blood for the trial. Now there's hope future research and a change in laws could pave the way for more stem cell therapies. If it helps Emily, then brilliant. And if it didn't, then at least it would help someone else. Vicky Jardim, Nine News.